Hello everybody and welcome to the Year 9 into 10 options presentation. My name is Mr Part, Assistant Head Teacher and in this presentation I'll be looking to give you an overview of the fantastic range of uh, curriculum and subjects that are on offer for your child, whether in the Academy or Cheshire Studio School, the process by which they're going to be supported in selecting those options and some of the key dates that we need to all keep in mind as we work together over the next four weeks or so. So let's begin uh, by looking and just timelining the process for you through to the end of uh, February half term. Obviously today at school, uh, I've spoken to your children uh, about the whole options process using this presentation. And they've also with Mrs. Thatcher been working on their aims for options day activities with a broader scope than just subjects, but also thinking about their careers guidance, skill profiling, and a range of support from their form teachers as well. From tomorrow uh, on Microsoft Teams, you'll be able to access subject presentations from each of the heads of faculty, heads of subject uh, uh, in your own leisure. Your, your children have had a chance to attend three of those talks today, but all of the talks are available to them in their Microsoft Teams. And you can just see next to me here in the year nine team, there's a dedicated now options page where those resources and the options booklet, which you've had emailed home today to you as well, are available uh, at your leisure. Um, choices this year, sorry, choices this year will be made using SIMS options online. And that's a process uh, which the students themselves will need to register for, uh, but you have direct access to SIMS options in the SIMS Parents app anyway. Uh, that won't be open for submitting choices until Monday, January the 31st. And that's really just to give everybody a little bit of headspace over the weekend following the Aim for Options Day to access some of those subject talks uh, and for initial conversations to be taking place. We'll then have a, a fortnight window left until half term from the 1st of February through to February the 17th, which will give yourselves and your children the chance to seek support in various ways. Your child will have access to their form teacher and obviously subject teachers in class. And then on February the 10th and the 17th, we have two year nine parents evenings, uh, the left and the right, which you'll be able to book appointments for soon on School Cloud. And so I've extended the deadline for submitting uh, options choices from the first letter which you received to, uh, which I think stated that it was February the 10th, but I'll look for if possible uh, submissions to be made online by February the 18th. And so also on this slide, you can see that the options booklet has those key dates as well for you uh, to access, as well as the subject talks, uh, overviews of each subject uh, and how they are assessed as well. All designed to give you the complete suite, if you like, of resources and information uh, and support so that you can support your children in making the right choices uh, for, for them. Okay then, so we'll begin by looking at the academy curriculum, which is a traditional uh, linear, uh, which means sort of exams at the end of the course, GCSE curriculum, that allows students to progress onto A-level or BTEC study in our successful sixth form. GCSEs now, I'm sure that you're aware, are on this new linear-based one to nine grading system, and we offer a full suite right across uh, the range. Looking at the slide on the left-hand side of your screen, you can see the GCSE core subjects, and this is the same for the academy and indeed for the studio too, uh, with the two English qualifications separate in language and literature, mathematics, the science dual award, and then a couple of hours of PE and PHSCE uh, each week, equating to five qualifications in total across the 30 hours of lesson study. But we're all here for, for one reason and one reason only really, and that's obviously to think about our option subjects. So on the right side of your screen, you can see the great range uh, of subjects that we've got there. And during this options process, uh, your, your child is looking to make a selection of, of five subjects actually, four and, and a reserved choice. And the reserve is important, and I'll explain a little bit about that uh, later on, uh, from that broad range. This will give them four extra qualifications across 20 lessons of study. Each option subject has five hours of teaching time across our fortnight. 
You don't have to select a subject from each of these colored boxes. They are just there uh, for clarity on the presentation. But just to go to the top of the column and obviously uh, French or Spanish study, uh, we've been working with uh, this year group uh, since the end of year seven, beginning of year eight, um, socializing this uh, 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 approach that in response to national agenda, students uh, who are identified through uh, progress tracking data as, as capable of succeeding uh, with a qualification in languages at GCSC uh, are going to have to uh, do that. We've been doing this now for a couple of years already. So we've notified you already of uh, whether your child is in pathway one or pathway two. Uh, pathway one students must continue their French or Spanish study as one of their four choices uh, as they progress from year nine into year 10. And in Mrs. Speakman's subject talks, you can find out a lot more detail about those GCSE courses and the benefits uh, longer term of, of, of so doing. In the rest of the column, we can see subjects that we know and are familiar with that we've been uh, studying already, whether it's humanities um, or uh, for the likes of, say, some of the art subjects, the full range of uh, performing art subjects that are on offer at the school. Uh, triple science uh, is, is, our, is a, instead of the dual award. And that's really if you're, you're covering uh, biology, physics and chemistry with a separate qualification in both. Um, in science dual award, you'll still do all of those three subjects, but not in obviously as much detail. We can also see new subjects uh, for this year, the Digital Information Technology BTEC and the Level 2 Sports Studies uh, uh, qualification that students have access to, as well as other new subjects like Business Studies and Psychology, which tend to be very popular each year. Um, but just a couple of words of warning on, on, on those two subjects. Uh, as explanation, uh, it's, it's a common misconception that students have to do those subjects now if they want to do them at A-level. And that, that's not true. You can start either of those courses, business studies or psychology A-level from scratch in year 12. And that's because we only have a limited number uh, of classes, two business studies classes and one psychology class uh, available because of staffing requirements and commitments elsewhere across the school. So every year, uh, as the year nine to 10 options, those two subjects tend to be the area of most compromise needed because we only have uh, a certain number, obviously, of, of teaching hours available in those. So that's the academy curriculum. Um, it's four subjects plus the reserve from the column on the right, bearing in mind the slight restriction on the language pathway. Of course, your child is also uniquely positioned because they have access to Cheshire Studio School as they progress from year nine into year 10. And there we find the same strong academic core of GCSEs in English, Mathematics, Science, PE, PHSCE. But here on the right side of the screen, access to a more contemporary curriculum that still offers a clear progression pathway into BTEC or A-level study in our successful studio school sixth form. Again, I'm looking for the students to make four choices and one reserve, but it works slightly differently here in the Cheshire Studio School. One of the distinctive features is its focus upon the development of employability skills through a program in school and placements on work experience. So one of the four options here must be, as in the green box down below, the selection of work experience and employability. In terms of subject combinations, students then have two possible lines to follow. The construction and engineering qualifications that you can see in the turquoise box, or the health and social care and hospitality qualifications in that second light green box. They exist as complementary pairings. So again, two selections there counts as two options. Construction and engineering plus employability and work experience, for example, would amount in total to three of your choices. The great flexibility about Cheshire Studio School curriculum is that there's then still the chance to select either a GCSE or additional uh, level two course. And you can see the range uh, there that are on offer, the likes of business studies, media studies, the new digital information technology course, PE, uh, textiles, drama, uh, a selection from any of those counting as the fourth choice. And in fact, B 
because I also need a reserve choice in the mix as well, we'll be looking for students to make two possible selections from those additional GCSE and level two courses. It is worth just also highlighting while we're on this slide that the courses of construction engineering, health and social care, hospitality, and the work experience package are exclusive offers within Cheshire Studio School and cannot be accessed from the academy curriculum route, which we were looking at and discussing on the previous slide. So forgive my disappearance and uh, hello again. So the, the two uh, curriculums, and I should say that you can see both of those uh, curriculums inside the option booklet as well, the, the diagrams and that kind of headline overview. Uh, this slide is simply, I suppose, about uh, how to make uh, informed and sensible decisions about subject choices moving from year nine into year 10. Obviously, uh, as you can see on the left hand side, all of those uh, criteria or reasons for choices are really valid uh, and, and matter. Um, the, the main, it sounds slightly contradictory, but really my advice would be uh, at this point in time to really kind of maintain that idea of breadth and range of subject uh, rather than uh, over specializing at this point in time. Year, year 12 tends to be the time when you know, students have really got clarity in their mind about uh, you know, future career plans. So here we're very much looking for a range of subjects, I suppose, as well as reflecting individual abilities and talents. On the right side of the, of this, the slide here, um, we can see some of the reasons that obviously uh, common sense will, will, will tell us are not necessarily the best reasons for selecting subjects. Um, a couple of ones just to highlight. Sometimes I think students think that certain subjects are easier than, than others, but obviously one of the uh, side effects of the curriculum review and the move to the GCSE and indeed BTEC uh, linear exams was that all subjects now have inbuilt at the end of them uh, examinations. So there really isn't any easy option out there. Um, friends and teacher preferences tend to bubble up uh, as well at times. And of course, I one of my other jobs is I'm responsible for doing and uh, constructing the school's timetable. I don't know exactly which teachers at this point in time are teaching which subjects next year in year 10. So it's very hard to, to sort of you know, follow uh, subjects just because one, you know, a student likes a teacher and obviously, uh, you know, friends. The, the real message that students have been given today in school and will be supported with over the coming uh, few days is is to, to, to really sort of do their homework and their research uh, and to use all the resources that are available to make sensible, reasoned, informed decisions uh, that suit their individual uh, strengths uh, and talents. A quick slide here um, and a, a sort of a, a moment just to take stock that when choices are made, obviously, the effort, attitude and performance uh, in subjects that you know, a year nine student isn't going to be taking into year 10. Well, well our expectations, as you know, uh, you, you've been with us now for several years at the school, uh, remain unchanged and, and of the highest possible standards. So we expect year nine students to be working right the way through all their subjects to the very end of year nine, irrespective of their options choices. And I mentioned before that certain subjects have limited classes and limited availability. So we would be looking at progress data in some in some subject areas uh, for for consideration of if, if we had an oversubscribed class. So it's really important that students get across this idea that choosing options subjects is very is obviously you know uh, very exciting uh, and that that chance to to move into certain subject areas, but it, it's not that the rest of year nine then then doesn't matter. Um, performance, effort, attitude, you know, we expect those to remain of the very highest standards possible. Hello again. So I I hope that that. Uh, is is clear. Um, the great thing, uh, the one advantage of not being able to meet in person, I guess, uh, in an, a sort of evening event at school, is that you do have this resource that you can refer back to uh, during the process and double check anything 
and by all means get in touch with myself if anything you feel isn't clear. Um, but importantly, you've got the diagrammatics of both the Academy and Cheshire Studio School curriculum, and you've got that walkthrough of the process for your, 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 your child to register for Sims on, uh, options online, and that main screen that you'll use, the interface to select, drag and drop your options. So as we near the end of the presentation, it may be worthwhile just reiterating a few uh, key points. Um, the Academy and Cheshire Studio School curriculum offers cannot be combined. Um, they, you, you can't access, remember, the likes of the uh, engineering or hospitality courses or work experience from within the Academy curriculum. That, that's one of those exclusives because of work experience needed to operate and work simultaneously with the main school timetable. Uh, there's a vast array of material and resources available to support you. You can research the subjects via Year 9 Teams Options channel that will be live from tomorrow. The options guide uh, that will be on the school website and has been emailed to you. And obviously with subject teachers at the parents' evenings on February the 10th and 17th. Advice and discussion is the order of the day. A reminder that the reserve choice uh, is something that needs to be valid and sensible because the uh, software will use those reserve choices in trying to match and achieve as high a percentage of uh, hit rate, if you like, to everybody's preferences. Some subjects might refer to, need to refer to progress data uh, in related subjects if they are oversubscribed. Remember, we only have certain amounts of classes available uh, in some of the more niche subjects. And that's important as you go on through year nine, that work ethic and attitude and application need to remain consistent and on board with our high expectations. Really important point, you can change your choices during the options process uh, at any point. And indeed, probably we'll find that some of you are still making uh, changes uh, even as we start school uh, in year 10 in September. Uh, what happens is that the uh, option pools are calculated on a best fit model. So changes can be made, but those changes will become a little bit more restricted once the timetable blocks and combinations of subjects in pool A, B, C and D are calculated by the software. But you're not at this point in time uh, you know, signing your soul away to certain subjects, you can alter and change as the coming months go by. And obviously, importantly, we've pushed back the deadline uh, for you to submit options to February the 8th. So just before we close, um, a final reminder of the uh, places that you can go to find support. You've had a copy of the options booklet itself emailed home with descriptions of all the subjects on offer in both Academy and Cheshire Studio School. And that's available on the website too, alongside the, this presentation. Uh, you can reference it, Academy uh, exam board uh, websites uh, for, again, sources of information about the courses themselves and the curriculum on offer. Uh, there is uh, Mr. Cole's email address, uh, Miss Pickford, the careers advisor's email address, and my own email address. And on parents evening, you'll be able to also to talk live to the subject teachers on School Cloud um, about your, your children as well. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, doing this presentation. So we looked at the two different curriculum uh, pathways that are on offer in the Academy and the Cheshire Studio School. And now I want to move on to just explain how students are going to be able to actually select their option choices using the Sims Options Online package. Uh, they will already have received, uh, I hope, an invitation email from, from the Sims Options Online package outlined, as you can see on screen here, and signing into it using their, their School Office 365 IDs. Uh, they'll sign into the system in exactly the same way using school email and password and be invited to click register so that they become active and live on the sims options online package they'll have to set up a security question and then click verify 
Uh, it sounds a bit complicated, but really all of those uh, steps happen from within the initial uh, invitation email once they click. That will then bring them to the final page for registering for Sims Options Online. And again, the instructions are available on screen as you can see here. It is perhaps worth watching with your child the video that you can find on the link on the bottom left, uh, because that actually, uh, in, in moving video, um, explains what I'm about to just describe to you now, once you see the Sims Options Online home screen, which will look like this. So this is where the, uh, your child will be able to select um, the four subjects and one reserve uh, from the list that we have uh, on offer. There are full instructions inside Sims Options Online and reminders about what I'm talking about now. Uh, and at any point during the process, you can go back into Sims Options Online and alter and delete choices. But in simple terms, the four step process to follow will be to from the range of subjects on offer uh, to click, drag, click, sorry, drag and drop subject choices over to the menu as per the arrows that you can see on the top right hand side. It is, please, essential that you uh, take note of the fact that you are putting these subjects into preference order. So in the example that I have on screen in front of you here, I am a Pathway 1 French student. So my first preference has been locked in as French because I know that I have to follow uh, the, the, the French course and to continue that uh, to, to GCSE study. I then have decided that media studies will be my second preference. And so it's geography in this position that's in position four and graphics that I've entered as my reserve. Now, one of the smart things about the Sims Options Online package is that it will calculate and work out solutions. There are 221 students who will be putting in their choices of five subjects. And so this, the package uh, uses algorithms and preference order to calculate the best fit and combination of subjects based on the number of classes that we have available as a school. And so as it goes looking for solutions, it, it will behave itself, if you like, in order of preference. So it might be in the case that we can see on screen here, that if geography proves to not be a possible combination, then I will be awarded graphics as part of my four. And it's that notion of compromise that I think it's very important that everybody has uh, very clearly in their mind as we go into the options process. Timetable restrictions and staffing availability mean that inevitably there can be no guarantee that every single two of the 221 students gets all of their four choices. So when you're selecting and talking about your reserve choice, when you're discussing preference order, it's really, really important that that reserve choice is, is something that you would consider studying at GCSE. The other thing to make sure of, and it's not, I'm afraid, on this particular screenshot on screen, is to click and save your choices. You can find that little cloud arrow just top left um, as you look at the screen here. Those choices you can visit again and again and again during the process. Uh, and obviously, if there are any changes to subjects or whatever, then I will be in communication with form teachers and so on during the day. Parents, you will have to approve your students' choices. So again, in the Sims Parent app, you will have to be notified that your child has made and submitted choices. You can go into Sims Options Online yourselves, no need to log in, just through your parent app, and there'll be an approval button for you to go there. And that just tells me that you are aware and conscious of those choices and in agreement for them as well. For you, I hope you found it useful. Uh, and just a reminder of the dates and timelines that we're working on uh, over the next uh, four weeks or so. And the fact that all of the subject talks uh, you'll be able to find with your child in the Year 9 Options channel on Microsoft Teams.
Uh, so that will give you the chance in your own leisure to, to do that. Watch out for the invitation email from Sims Options Online for your children. And you'll be able to also access, remember, the package inside the Sims Parent app as well. But as ever, if you have any queries or anything you're uncertain about, please do uh, get in touch. Uh, aside from that, my very best wishes for the next four weeks. I know it can be a little bit uh, stressful at times, but hopefully uh, working together, uh, we'll be able to make sure that your child has the right choices for them as they move forward into year 10. Thank you very much.